Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so we are going to jump in and have our first proper look here at the uh, new Kale and Khalifa that I've released on Global. Uh, yesterday, I had a bunch of stuff to do. I obviously did my summons, so make sure you check out the video. I mean, obviously, I pulled them, so you can see that from this video. But I had a lot of luck on the summons yesterday, uh, not just on their banner, but went over to the Heroes banner afterwards as well and uh, had some real fire luck so uh, definitely check those out but this is my first opportunity to get like a proper session in with them and check out their team I wanted to make sure that we brought back the FCF yesterday uh, after having delayed it for a couple of weeks and um, I already had another video pre-recorded that was the Battle of Wits Heroes team so even though the units technically came out yesterday, this is my first opportunity to not only get a video out, but actually like properly play with them as well. Because I'm still focusing on link leveling uh, some of the heroes units. Uh, I have a lot of them that are almost ready to finish. Um, and so obviously I had to go through the events, awaken these guys and everything. So... We are trying them out for the first time properly here with their team. So I am running, obviously, double Kale and Khalifa leads. Uh, I brought a 55% friend as well just to keep it, like, on an even keel. I didn't want to bring a friend that had, like, a bunch of dupes and then, obviously, clearly outshines this one. I just want to see what they're like at 55% and try out their team. So their leader skill is Bond of Friendship or Rapid Growth, Key 3, HP 130, Attack and Defense 170. So they are now the best Rapid Growth leader. Uh, and then Bond of Friendship is an okay category. Um, like, it's mostly Kale and Khaliflas and then, like, a ton of Gokus, which, I mean, most of the Gokus in the game, I think, are on there. So, you know, they, they are some of the best units in the game. So you can make a very interesting team. Um, obviously, the AGL Gohan is on there as well, or is on Rapid Growth, actually. He's probably on Rapid Growth more so than the other one, isn't he? Uh... Yeah, Rapid Growth. Yeah, he isn't on the new one. That doesn't surprise. I don't know why I thought he was on the new one. Bond of Friendship. Eh. Yeah, I guess probably not with 16. I was thinking that's why he was on there, but it's just me being dumb. He's on Rapid Growth. But it means it's another team where we can run the rotation of him and the Namek Goku, which I think is quite interesting. Because I feel like with these guys, because uh, like Hit, for example, is on Rapid Growth. Even though technically their leader skill is, you know, Bond of Friendship and Rapid Growth, the best team for them really is just to run like a full universe six team. Um, so I don't know. You can mix and match it a little bit. I've got this Goku here, the Super Saiyan 1 Easy A for some support. Uh, we're going to have the LR Kale and Khalifa as their link partner. And then once we actually fuse them into Kefla, then we'll use the other Kefla as their friend uh, or their link partner. So they raise attack and defense and do immense damage to the enemy. So they do infinitely stack both attack and defense. So obviously they're designed to be at their best in long form events. I have got them at 55%. I haven't given them any skill orbs or anything. Uh, attack and defense 160 they launch an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super and they get an additional attack and defense six percent with each attack performed up to 60 and then an additional attack 60 when attacking if there is a universe survival saga category enemy so obviously they do get a pretty significant buff uh, if there is a universe survival saga enemy we are doing the reps of universe 7 um, stage so they are going to look their best here and then of course from the sixth turn we'll be able to fuse into Kefla so we'll go into all the details for Kefla once we actually get that far so we'll go ahead and see what they're like here on their first turn so with the STR Kefla they actually share a ton of links uh Sam Warrior Race Warriors of Universe 6 Battlefield Diva Tournament Power Fist Battle pretty good uh their defense here so for their first turn 101k I, mean, I guess that's not terrible. This is their first turn and they are a stacker. So obviously that number is just going to keep getting better and better over time. Uh, we are in the first stage and we have type advantage. So we're not going to take a ton of damage here. Krillin can stun though. Fortunately he did not. He does lower attack. But 2.2 million. Obviously the lowering attack doesn't really affect them that much. Because then they just raise attack on super anyway. Uh, we get the additional super from their passive. So 2.4. Obviously, as a tech unit without any uh, skill orbs equipped, they don't have any additional at 55%. So, if you do have additional skill orbs or you did pull a dupe or two, then you probably do want to go for uh, some additional. Give them that possibility of getting the triple super. 
uh, in one turn. Give them a very nice stack. Because that's the thing, like, long form events, you're going to be able to get them to stack up to some pretty good numbers. Short form events, obviously, infinite stackers don't get anywhere near as much chance to get those stacks. So that's why I always like to give those kind of units a bunch of additional. Because if you can get the uh, triple super turns early on, especially in things like Super Battle Road, then obviously the unit is going to look better overall. And uh, of course, this rotation with the uh, Goku and Gohan is always going to be a pretty powerful one. So Kefla going to go ahead and transform into a Super Saiyan here. Obviously, once we get our uh, girls transformed into the uh, Kefla, she's going to be their best link partner. Uh, with the AGL Kalen Kalifla, they do share a ton of links as well. They actually don't pick up any extra ones from you. So let's go ahead and keep them in slot one here. Um, so we're looking at 158k defense on turn two. That's pretty good. So let's grab those for you. We don't need to worry about getting the six orbs. Oh, but we can anyway. <laughs> I was going to say, we don't have to worry about getting the six orbs for Kefla because that's just for activating her dodge and she's not being attacked. So 2.5 million on turn two, or at least their turn two. And this is with no support unit on the rotation as well. So... I definitely want to see what they're going to be looking like. Now that we've got them linked up with the AGL, uh, Kale and Khalifa, I want to see what they're going to be looking like with that Goku in slot 3. So, Roshi with the seal and the stun after they've already attacked. So, it's a bit of a rip for him. And uh, Kale and Khalifa. Of course, AGL, Kale and Khalifa have aged quite well. Uh, Damage-wise, they're probably not as crazy as, you know, a lot of units now. But... With their infinite stacking of defense, they're, you know, the, they build up their dodge chance and everything. They're still a very, very good unit. So, them having uh, such a great link set with these guys, like, definitely a solid rotation to run these two together. And then, as we're doing with this setup, we're just going to use Kefla as a floating unit until we actually transform our girls into uh, Kefla. And then, I guess, we could always leave the other one, like, untransformed, but... I mean, that's a way you could run uh, the team if you wanted to do it that way. Um, you could have the one of them on rotation with AGL, uh, Kale and Khalifa, and just never transform them. And then have the other rotation, once they transformed, be them with another Kefla. But we did see in the first turn, they do actually have a decent link set with the Kefla anyway. So it's not like you're missing out on a huge amount, um, depending on how you want to do it. And once you fuse them into Kefla, they're still going to have links with, like, you know, the AGL Kale and Khalifa as well. So the links for them do work out fairly nicely. Uh, obviously, you know, no surprise that the uh, Kale and Khalifa units all across the board are pretty much designed to work well together. So very good. Um, you can see the friend here, though, on a rotation where we don't really have a lot of links set up. Also, I don't know if it's because it's... I think... Is it because it's this specific Piccolo? I think he's not a universe survival saga enemy because he's technically... I'm pretty sure his card... Um, he's from the universe 6 versus um, universe 7 tournament thing. So I think they're not getting their buff uh, against him. But... 224k on uh, this turn with the support from this Goku. So let's go ahead. Uh, Piccolo's going to heal in slot one. That's fine. Go ahead and do this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get a few more attacks off with these guys before we transform them. Because this is the typical sort of blueprint that we have for some of these transforming units now. Where they infinitely stack before they transform. And then once they transform, they stop doing that so obviously in longer form events you kind of want to not transform them straight away so you can get more of those stacks so that obviously they can have higher defense for the late game um and you know it's sometimes it's not the most fun way to play but it is the most like quote unquote optimal so like a unit like for example agl bardock or tech gohan like you can just basically wait all the way until you get to like the final phase you know, when Tech go on the GT Goku event, you can wait until you get to Tech full power Goku, and then Gohan's going to have like a million defense, and then you transform. Or, if you obviously just want to have fun and use the unit like as soon as possible actually transformed, then of course you can, uh, let me just do this quickly, get you, we'll get Gohan a super because he, uh, we want to use him as a tank a bit more, get one of them stacks in for him. Um, 
But yeah, obviously, if you want to just have fun and transform them as early as possible so you can see their super attacks and everything, that is another way to go. But with units that stack defense before they transform and not afterwards, you are obviously then looking at a lower defensive stat for the later phase of the events. So, what are we looking at here with our... We've got a universe survival target enemy again now. Uh, we're up to 250k defense. I think we will... Let's have one more attack here because I want to see their attack stat now that we actually have a universe survival target enemy again. So we should be getting that extra 60% buff here. And uh, we've got no support on rotation. 3.1 million. I mean, this is the thing with infinite stacking units. Like, 3 million is not a bad attack stat, but this is their, what, like, fourth or fifth turn now that they've been on rotation? So, it's not crazy impressive, but they are 55% full level 1 links. So, that is obviously something that we have to bear in mind. Um, their team does have access to some decent supports. Uh, obviously, especially considering the fact that, you know, most of the Gokus are on here. Um, the EZA physical UI Goku would be a very solid pick because he's a good support for Universe Survival Saga character units uh, who is actually a unit that can hold his own as well defensively. So I probably should have brought him instead of the AGL Goku really. But I think the AGL Goku does offer, it's either the same or more support. So it doesn't actually really matter. But basically just got a whole turn of uh, Kalen Khalifla double team super attacks going on here. Everyone getting additional supers. So, a lot, uh, lot of damage output on the turn. I mean, that's the thing, you know. Multiple supers building up with each super attack. Uh, they're definitely looking okay. I uh, I think after, like, getting to play with them a little bit, uh, my opinion of them is probably slightly higher than it was before. Um, because I really didn't think they were, like, anything that special. I talked about it in the video when I was doing the summons for them. I do very much think that they're not a unit that you, like, quote-unquote, need. Uh, you know, like, Rapid Growth has a leader uh, or other ways to build the team. You know, if you want to do things like the Rapid Growth Super Battle Road stage. Bond of Friendship is an okay category, but, I mean, the problem that I have with some of these new categories they bring out is, like, the Bond of Friendship category, like, I, can, I, I could just run a Universe 6 team. Uh, this Gohan and Goku rotation... There's like three or four other teams I can run that on. So I don't need this team to be able to run this rotation. Um, I just thought I'd throw this one in here because, you know, I wanted to have a powerful second rotation as we go through this event. Um, you know, they're a fun unit. If you're a big fan of Kaelin Khalifla, then obviously you're going to be uh, excited. But let us go ahead and actually get the transformation here. I did remember to change the thing back to English. So let us go ahead and do the active skill. I do think yeah, the animation for this is sick. Especially that, like the fusion part, that's super cool. I mean, this is the thing, right? I've never been a huge fan of Kale and Khalifla or Kefla in general. Um, I'm definitely not one of the people that just outright hates them. Um, I feel like people go a little bit too far with that sometimes. But... So, of course, unsurprisingly, with the STR Kefler, they have the exact same link set. So this rotation is obviously going to be very good for them. So let's have a quick look at their details. So once they become Kefler, they now infinitely stack attack and do immense damage. And then their passive is uh, we get a little bit of HP recovery for doing the fusion. Attack and defense 160. They launch an additional that has a medium chance of becoming a super. Built in 50% chance to dodge, which is good. Additional attack and defense 60% when attacking. And then an additional attack 60% when attacking with six or more key spheres. So again, another Kefla unit that you want to get six orbs. This one is definitely a lot more like you really want to be getting them six orbs. So it's very good that we can do that here on this first turn for them. But as you can see, then the second Kefla, uh, we cannot get the six orbs. So it's a little bit annoying. That's probably another, that's an issue that you've got to think about actually. Running them together as a rotation. They share all their links, but now we have two units. Like both our units on main rotation that both want six orbs to collect, which is pretty crazy. So 200k defense, I mean, that's not bad at the start of the turn for 55%. Uh, but remember, she's not infinitely stacking or, well, she's not stacking her defense at all now. 
So the only buff she's actually getting to her defense um, is the attack and defense 60% when attacking. So that is going to put her up to just over 300k, which is still obviously very good. Um, and that is without support on the rotation as well. So can't really complain too much about that. 55% level 1 links. Uh, double digit damage. She's not getting the dodges, but she's not taking damage. Uh, 4 million attack on the first turn transformed. I mean, that's not terrible, again, for a 55% uh, level 1 Lynx. She has gonna, she's got the potential for the additionals, but unfortunately we only get a normal attack. And then there's the dodge. Because that's the thing, right? That's where Kefla can start to look good, just like the STR one. Uh, with the fact that, you know, once you get some dupes or you get some additional skill orbs, if you get that good RNG, you can get three super attacks in one turn. So that first super attack for her being a 4 million, if this was going to be one of those turns where you could get that kind of RNG where she's doing three super attacks, you know, the second one's going to be, what, 4.1, 4.2, something like that. And then the third one's going to be closer to 4.5. So that's a lot of potential damage that she can put out in one turn. But it is quite RNG uh, related. So definitely interesting. Obviously, uh, Global having the schedule change of us getting the hit EZA first instead of the physical Kefla EZA. That does kind of affect, I guess, the team building for her team a little bit. Because the physical Kefla would be a very good unit to run alongside her. Especially with things like the orb changing and stuff like that. So definitely has been affected. But... I mean, overall, I have to say, like, from trying her out for the first time properly, or trying them out, I should say, for the first time properly here, um, they're a little bit better than I was initially expecting, but I definitely don't think they're anything too crazy. Their banner is not that good, really, so I don't think they are, like, a must-summon unit. Uh, like I said, the team is not something that you, like, need to run. So I think this is definitely one of those banners that, like, this is for fans of the character only, and for everybody else it's a skip. Like, I did say in my summon video, discounts are hard to pass up, especially when the third one is guaranteed featured. So it might be worth a punt for that if you've got 100 stones that you can spare. But other than that, I would say that they're not too, uh, they're not too much of a like high priority unit, I will say. Because we got the friend one here. Obviously they've been off rotation, so they haven't had as much chance to stack. So we can't rate them too harshly, but 3.2 million and then an additional 3.5. I mean, it's not terrible and their defense is reasonably good. So they are pretty decent, but there's just a lot, a lot of other units that do what they do. Like, although they are different and of course they will fuse into Kefla eventually. Their base form, they're just like a not quite as good TUR version of the LR Kaelin Khalifa. So... And here we have one of those unfortunate situations where we have the support from Goku, but we don't have the uh, we don't have the um, orbs. Although, actually, if we use your active skill, we should get the orbs to change because I believe she changes. Is it actually literally physical to STR? Because I know she creates STR orbs. So yeah, they're perfect. All right, so we'll see this as the last attack from the uh, Tech Kefla here with support from this AGL Goku and see what she gets. But you guys let me know down below, what do you think of Tech Kale and Khalifla slash Kefla? Did you summon for them? Uh, let me know what you think. So 4.78, that is pretty good. 55% level one links, not too bad. It's just the fact it takes them quite a few turns to transform. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I think. They're, they're okay, but... They're definitely nothing too crazy. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.